Hey, kindergarten. We are going to be reading chapters three and four of Dinosaurs Before Dark. Here we go. Chapter three is called, Where is Here? Jack looked out the window. He looked down at the picture in the book. He looked back out the window. The world outside in the pic, the world outside and the world in the picture, they were exactly the same. The pteranodon was soaring through the sky. The ground was covered with ferns and tall grass. There was a wind streaming. There was a winding stream and a sloping hill and volcanoes in the distance. Where are we? stammered Jack. The pteranodon glided down to the base of their tree. The creature coasted to a stop and stood very still. What happened to us? said Annie. She looked at Jack. He looked at her. I don't know, said Jack. I was looking at the picture in the book, and you said, wow, I wish I could see a pteranodon for real, said Annie. Yeah, and then we saw one in the Frog Creek Woods, said Jack. Yeah, and then the wind got loud, and the tree started spinning, said Annie. So that means, and we landed here, said Jack, and we landed here, said Annie. So that means, said Jack, so that means what, said Annie. Nothing, said Jack. He shook his head. None of this can be real. Annie looked out the window again. But he's real, she said. He's very real. Jack looked out the window with her. The pteranodon was standing at the base of the oak tree, like a guard. His giant wings were spread out on either side of him. Hi, Annie shouted. Shh, said Jack. We're not supposed to be here. But where is here, said Annie. I don't know, said Jack. Hi, Annie called again to the creature. The pteranodon looked up at them. Where is here? Annie called down. You must be nuts. He can't talk, said Jack. But maybe the book can tell us. Jack looked down at the book. He read the words under the picture. This flying reptile lived in the Cretaceous period. It vanished 65 million years ago. No, impossible. They couldn't have landed in a time 65 million years ago. Jack, said Annie, he's nice. Nice? Yeah, I can tell. Let's go down and talk to him. Talk to him? Annie started down the rope ladder. Hey, shouted Jack, but Annie kept going. Are you crazy, Jack called. Annie dropped to the ground. She stepped boldly up to the ancient creature. There's Annie and the pteranodon. Do you think you would go and talk to the pteranodon? And that's the end of chapter three. Chapter four is called Henry. Do you remember what Henry is, where we heard the name Henry in the book before? Let's listen. Jack gasped as Annie held out her hand. Oh, brother, she was always trying to make friends with animals, but this was going too far. Don't get too close to him, Annie, Jack shouted. But Annie touched the pteranodon's crest. She stroked his neck. She was talking to him. In the world, what in the world was she saying? Jack took a deep breath. <sighs> okay, he would go down too. It would be good to examine the creature. Take notes, like a scientist. Jack started down the rope ladder. When he got to the ground, Jack was only a few feet away from the creature. The creature stared at Jack. His eyes were bright and alert. He's soft, Jack, said Annie. He feels like Henry. Jack snorted. He's no dog, Annie. Feel him, Jack, said Annie. Jack didn't move. Don't think, Jack. Just do it. Jack stepped forward. He put out his arm. Very cautiously, he brushed his hand down the creature's neck. Interesting. A thin layer of fuzz covered the pteranodon's skin. Soft, huh, said Annie. Jack reached into his backpack and pulled out a pencil and a notebook. He wrote, fuzzy skin. What are you doing, asked Annie. Taking notes, said Jack. We're probably the first people in the whole world ever to see a real live pteranodon. Jack looked at the pteranodon again. The creature had a bony crest on top of his head. The crest was longer than Jack's arm. I wonder how smart he is, Jack said. Very smart, said Annie. Don't count on it, said Jack. His brain's probably no si bigger than a bean. 
No, he's very smart. I can feel it, said Annie. I'm going to call him Henry. Remember their neighbor's dog's name was Henry? Jack wrote in his notebook, small brain, question mark. Now you can see this is the crest that they're talking about. Jack looked at the creature again. Maybe he's a mutant, he said. The creature tilted his head. Annie laughed. He's no mutant, Jack. Well, that, well, what's he doing here then? Where is this place, said Jack. Annie leaned close to the pteranodon. Do you know where we are, Henry? She asked softly. The creature fixed his eyes on Annie. His long jaws were opening and closing like a giant pair of scissors. Are you trying to talk to me, Henry? asked Annie. Forget it, Annie, Jack wrote in his notebook. Mouth like scissors. Did we come to a long time ago, Henry? Annie asked. Is this a place from long ago? Suddenly she gasped. <gasps> Jack! Annie was pointing toward the hill. On top stood a huge dinosaur. Chapter 5 is called Gold in the Grass. We will read that next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.